Her girlfriend just died in a horrific fashion. Well, it's time to move on, I guess. You would have wanted that. But with Stephanie gone, our only... Our only ally in this, I think? What can we do about this? What have we checked out, actually? We checked out... We've checked out the diner because we saw that Edna off herself too. People are dying. A lot of people dying suddenly. We've checked out the TV station because we've talked to Range Rider, who now looks like a fallout ghoul. Again, very sorry if this is insensitive, but that's just what it is. Uh, have we checked out the Gain Memorial School? Have we talked to the principal? Seeing you here again. My condolences, Steve. Here you go. When Stephanie was a little girl running through these halls, who would have believed something like this could happen to her? There's always a reason, big guy. There's always a reason. Sometimes the reason is pants on head retarded. But there always is a reason, that's right. Like, it's cause and effect. I do believe in the universal law like that. Drop in again soon. Adult education is a wonderful thing. As is adult quality time. Okay, looks like we're gonna get some opinions from people then before we move on to get to the lodge because we have the invitation now. That's what he said. Wait for the signal. He could have just said, We're gonna fucking murder your girlfriend. <laughs> Hope about that one, Steve. I guess the lodge always was full of kidders. Can't talk now, Steve. Oh, Steve, how could this terrible thing happen? I'm so sorry. Listen. I know you were mainly taking this job because of the wedding, but for your father's sake, I hope you'll still come to work here. What this business needs is new blood. <laughs> That's a good pun. Uh, bye, Pat. That's the name, right, Pat? Such a stranger, Steve. And my best to your dad. Pat O'Reilly. Uh, such a non-character, really. A lot, a lots of these just throwaway characters, important for one quest. It seems like, but they still have. Some mm, behind them, some 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 characters, some actual like, like something peculiar, definitely. So we talk to Monahan to see if he has anything to say about this. It's very likely that he's the one doing the killing for them, right? Young man, we were... your fiance's death was no doubt a tragic affair for those who knew her, loved her, and so forth. But to me, you simply can't get a nicer assignment. No organs left to remove, no fluids to drain, solvent parents, and no coffin to fuss over. I wish everybody could die as Stephanie did. Although it's true, only her hairdresser will know for sure now. The WHAR fire is just another example of the vagaries of my profession. Odd, after such a catastrophic conflagration, not to have any fatalities. Disappointing, in a way. I might have gotten some paying customers for a change. Wait, would the TV station have to pay for the funeral of the people that died in the TV station? What's wrong with the law in America? I'd say it's been a pleasure, but I find the company of the living so wearisome. I swear, if you don't get to kill or fight him... Until the end of the game, I will be, I will be disappointed and mistaken about his identity. He seems to be a high up in the lodge, just because of how how much sway he has. At least that's what it feels like. Um, but, hmm. It's not often that I get visitors. Do, do you do you get any news in here? Like, what's your point, wasp lady? What's happening? Can we talk about Stephanie? A triviality. Yeah, I guess you're right. Goodbye. Oh, sorry, I didn't want to do that. <laughs> I accidentally my right click. Maybe Mr. Mr. Johnson will have something to say about it. Oh, he's gonna call it like a tragedy because it's another pussy he couldn't stick a stick into. Sorry, Steve. Too tired to talk right now. I just gave the Tucker a tune-up. I'll talk to you later. Steve, I was sorry as I'll get out to hear about Stephanie. She was a sweet young thing. 
I used to watch her walk down the street to school every morning, standing on two medium-sized apple crates and squinting through the crack in the fence on those days when it didn't hail. What? I can still imagine her. So pure and innocent, sashaying down the street while I tried to balance on the rickety crates and pressed against the fence with one hand to steady myself. One hand? She never stopped to say hi. But that was probably just because I was totally hidden. I'd like to think that was the case. I'll miss her. Oh my god. DNA's diner burned down. What a shame. Women running things, that's the problem. Yeah, well... If she'd had a man around, that fire never would have happened. What a waste. I agree. What a waste. Damn terrible thing. That business with the TV station. I can't sleep now. Keep waking up in a cold sweat. I'm thinking of getting some fireproof aluminum siding for my garage. Think that's a good idea? Oh my god, the midget! The midget is in on it! The midget is selling the, the aluminum! Bye now. Oh, what if they're all in on it? <clears throat> what if the entire town is actually part of the lodge and they're just joking about not not being in? You think my mom has anything to say about Stephanie's death? Or dad? Hi, Miss Phelps. You, you are utterly useless when it comes to the game itself, but... Oh, Steve. Poor Stephanie. Why, it just breaks my heart. Thinking of that poor thing ripped limb from limb and skinned like an animal. You need to forget, Steve. <laughs> Try to take your mind off of it <laughs> and get back to work at your father's slaughterhouse. <laughs> Thanks for reminding me. I don't me. mind telling you. When I heard what happened to the diner, I went out and got me extra insurance right away. I have no desire to wind up dangling from my rafters like Edna. Believe you me. Steve, did you see the fire? As I was watching the TV station go up, I was reminded of the old Sentinel building. When you think about it, you know, two communication complexes going up in smoke? You have to wonder if it was a coincidence. You're right. <clears throat> and that reminds me that we should check out Postmaster Boyle's like, reason, I guess. But first, for our mom. And Zombie Hank. And do we talk to Zombie Hank? No, let's not. Mom, Stephanie... Well, maybe we should. Stephanie died. Hello, dear. How are you today? Stephanie is dead. I just heard what happened to Stephanie. What a shame. A damn shame. Would you like some toast from our brand new Crandall toaster with auto browning control? Oh, a nice toast. I'd love to, Mom. Couldn't eat now. I saw what was left of her. It was horrible. I'm sure it was, dear. I guess this reshuffles the deck, doesn't it? <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> well, the wedding is off for one thing, and Mr. Potsdam must be so disappointed. Oh my God! The bathroom will never be the same for him again. Whoa, she knows. <clears throat> she know. She knows what he did in the bathroom. How the fuck does she know that? I'm sure Mr. Potsdam was heartbroken. He's been trying to get his hooks into your father's meat for years. Oh, God. It was a fair swap, his daughter's meat for hours, but then again, she's looking rather mean these days, isn't she? Fuck, I love how unapologetically savage this game is with the writing and these people saying these things. You, you don't get that these days anymore. Tell me about a single similar game to this. Like, in the history of all gaming. <laughs> Actually, make it. Let's make it the recent years, um, because this is fucking amazing. Like, this is no hold spot. This is like postal territory, which I guess is similar in like in some ways of, of like when it comes to parodying the truth. Which, like, if you do parody the truth correctly, it is just it's crazy because it's true, and it hurts. It hurts a lot because it's true. What these people are saying is... Oh, it's just... <clears throat> Very funny, Mom. I like that one. I'm glad you haven't lost your sense of humor about all this. I suppose your next step will be the lodge, right? Yeah. What did you know? Mother knows best, dear. 
And besides, I heard you found the lodge invitation on her pillow. Who told you that? I'm so confused. Nobody's doing anything to solve this murder. Don't be so lazy, young man. If you're curious about what happened, you ought to accept the invitation. Seems logical, right? I mean, it, it is w what we're doing, and she is right about that. It's just that it's so weird. It, she did answer a question, or rather our concern, that no one is doing anything about it. And she's basically telling us, do it yourself. But in this <laughs> fucked up harvester type of way that says, you can't expect others to solve these murders. You have to do it yourself. It's perfectly fine that the sheriff doesn't want to do it. Um, I don't want anything to do with those many... Actually, let me... I think there's something wrong with my mic. Let me turn it down a little bit. Um, is that better? Uh, is that better? I think that's a little bit better. Yep. Uh, I, I don't want anything to do with those maniacs. I believe I will. I want to see what's inside. That's also what drove me to what Stephanie. <laughs> oh, I will never fuck her again. That's nice, dear. It's good to be open to new experiences. Oh god, like anal. Uh, can we ask about that, actually? Stop speaking nonsense, dear. Oh, okay, good. good. Bye, Mom. Don't forget to put the papers out for Jimmy. You know how he gets. I think I already did today. I can't remember. <clears throat> Hank, my girlfriend's dead. Can we actually go to the master bedroom? Let's see. We... Oh, God, I accidentally F1, which... Click the right mouse, but no, a character when this cursor appears to have Steve attack. Oh, I even have keyboard alt to duck shift to speed them up. Oh, control to oh, this high, low and medium attacks. Oh, fucking hell. I'm so happy that I found this. We get out of it. Okay. Uh, we'll go okay. That took me out of it. We're going to save. Um, thanks a little bitch. Thanks, though. Little bitch. I know he's my little brother, but it's the only person I'm allowed to call little bitch legally. What is it now? Stephanie's so, dead! I guess you're not getting married after all. Yeah, you're gonna like this. Shut up, you little bitch. Guess I'm going to the funeral instead. Don't hold your breath. I'm not sure it's her. Ooh. That's an interesting point of view. Very much coping hard and holding onto a sliver of hope. He's gonna like that one. Good one, Steve. I'm glad you're not a total doof. So, was it pretty gross? I hear she was all tore up, with an eyeball hanging out. You're disgusting. I'm not telling you anything. Yeah, ripped the spine right out of the body. Did you wonder where the other eye went? Did you look under her bed? See it staring back at you, with the dust bunnies and the roaches? Can't say that I did. <laughs> You're no fun anymore. You need to loosen up. Watch some more TV. Or you're gonna wind up like that Indian. Bye! Good. Finally. <laughs> okay, it's still firmly locked. Can we kill our mom and then visit our dad? We still have our get out of jail free card. We might need that for someone else. Watch me finish this game without using it up at all. Reloading every single time they made me use it. The post office. Oh, let's check at the barbershop first. I'm also not sure whether I want to talk to, like, good old crazy general missile man. Mr. Swell? Think about taking some of that siding off my hands, son. I'll cut you a nice Yeah, I see where you're going with this. My condolences on Stephanie, Steve. Sweet child. I used to bounce her on my knee. Did you? That's funny. She never mentioned remembering you. We didn't well, really talk to her. She was pretty young in those days. The TV station burning down's been good for business. Lots of folks are thinking of investing in aluminum siding. Oh, the music. They didn't do this baby boo before. It's also not doing it anymore. It was all only doing it while he was talking. 
Nice to see you again, Steve. Well, what's that about? I can't talk now, son. I'm busy with this game. That's a tough break. That's definitely business. If you ask me, she was the victim of a UFO. Just like them cattle mutilations, they stripped her and left what they couldn't use. You see, they use what the doctors call homogoblin in the blood. Is <laughs> homogoblin? And, <laughs> and the eyeballs are sparkly. <laughs> they left one of her eyeballs, Clem. Well, they only need one spark plug, Pete. They's advanced. Yes, sir. Them aliens is wily. Ain't really a chick in the head? First we lose the only barber in town, then poop. No more diner either. Yeah, don't they beat all? And now that the TV station's burned down, maybe folks will get off their duff and get outdoors. Maybe take up alien hunting. Say, Clem, will aluminum siding protect you from them alien sensor jobbies? Nope. You show up on their radar as a hunter surrounded by aluminum siding. Trust me, lead's the ticket. Just my luck. <clears throat> Interesting. Interesting. Anytime, Steve. I still don't remember there being an eyeball left, to be honest, but now that Hank, Hank has said it and these have said it, maybe there was an eyeball. I thought the skull was, like, just scully. I swear to God, I did create last week's thumbnail, but I did. For the, God, for the life. For the life? For the love of life? For the life of love? For the love of me? For the love of Stephanie? I can't remember what the thumbnail looks like. <laughs> Okay, let's let's go to the post office. This should be interesting. Hopefully. Maybe he's just gonna deny it all again. Sorry, son. No time to talk. Neither rain nor sleet nor snow nor hell shall keep the mail from its appointed rounds. I understand the wedding has been offed, along with your fiance. Just as well. She never got any letters anyway. Wow. Hello there, young man. What's the good word? Someone burned WHAR down last night. Really? I hadn't heard anything about it. And since I don't have a TV, I didn't notice it was off. Really? Uh, really? Th that's, that's your excuse? Arson. I beg your pardon? You burned down the newspaper building? Didn't you? Any evidence that the fire was set by an arsonist? None. Why, I think the sheriff would have picked up on that, and he's never said anything. Do we have to solve this? Uh, W-A-H-R. Don't mumble, son. Can't understand. Arson. I beg your pardon? You burned it down. You don't have but any that's proof of the, that. That's the newspaper Nobody does. Again. The sheriff stated that no evidence was found on the crime scene. Then how do you know it was a crime scene? Son, I have a feeling you're never going to get that lodge application. I feel it in my bones. Um, TV station? Seems that since the fire, WHAR has filled the void. Now just as many people waste their time watching TV as they ever did reading oh, the paper. Oh, okay. Seems like there's less and less mail all the time. That's his motive? Seriously, people not writing enough letters? Next time you post, don't forget the zip code. I somewhat understand, but it's still some like pretty out there, isn't it? Bye, Dan. Guess it's going nowhere, just like the subplot with Mr. Potsdam being a creepy child molester <laughs> and almost murderer. Okay, we, we, we're now gonna risk talking to Colonel Buster Monroe. That's far enough, my four legged friend. Four legged? How long are you going to torment me? You have two legs to spare, but no, llamas aren't like that. They don't care, they don't love. Stay away from now on. Stay away. Or so help me next time. I'll rain on everybody's goddamn parade. Okay, I guess he doesn't want to talk to me anymore, and that was the warning that I shouldn't try. What was up with the safe in the TV station, I wonder? Could I have interacted with that earlier? What, what was in there? That I could have interacted with. Check it out one last time, but I can't. My station is closed. Can we use our axe on it? Oh man! Well, that didn't Damn work. Damn it! No, oh. I don't understand. I'm gonna have to look that one up once I finish the game. If I miss like an entire like, 
quest or something around that. It doesn't feel like there's many things that, that you can actually miss or don't have to do with something in this. It, it feels very straightforward with certain things triggering certain events, but at the same time, I could be wrong about this. Since, well, it's me. <laughs> Not wrong about many things in life. Loomis? I'm sorry. I oh my, oh my. That's a right shame about Stephanie. Did I tell you? She reminded me of this girl I seen in one of my French postcards before the missus burnt them up and took the broom to me. Stephanie was such a nice girl. I went over to have a look at the body, but there weren't nothing left attached, hardly. I always wondered what she looked like naked. Reckon someone found out. Fuck you know. She was fucking beautiful. Like a perfect woman, that's what I would call that. She was, she, like the actress genuinely is beautiful in my opinion. I really like her, like she has a certain charm on me. Uh, thank you, Loomis. That wasn't fucking perverted or creepy at all. In a time, kiddo. Where's the sheriff, Loomis? Is he still eating pie? With Miss, Miss Potsdam? I guess so. Alright, then we have nothing left to do here. I, I can't try... All the supposedly duck. It doesn't work. This moves us. I press alt. Okay, these are the different attacks. Slow attack, high attack, medium attack. Fish is supposed to speed him up, but... I, I don't really see it. Interesting. Oh, man. If the, is there actual fighting in this game? I thought it was gonna be like some cases where I fight against the environment, let's put it like that. Get some wooden boxes or some shit. You got a weapon very early and I haven't used it once. Could I have killed people without like any repercussions? And I didn't make use of it? Maybe I could have killed the, the old wasp lady. I only the lodge left. It's happening, boys. We're entering it. You received the invitation, but you have not brought it. Hmm? I don't understand. The invitation was not... Oh my god. Heart, ...but the spinal cord. It must be presented to me, ere I allow you to enter. You sick bastard! What have you done with Stephanie? You expect me to steal the remains and bring them here? That, that's like, not that surprising at this point, is it, Steve? I expect nothing. What must unfold will. That's deep. You were provided an invitation. Bring me the skull and spinal cord if you would pass to the world beyond. All right. Bye then. Going back to the Potsdam reference. Residence, not reference. Um. I have to get rid of the sheriff. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, oh shit, it's gone. Is it at Monaghan's? She has nice taste. That's wrong, Steve. She had nice taste. She had nice taste. What happens if we take a look at the bathroom? That's, that's the wrong thing. Uh, the picture, this one. It doesn't work anymore. It doesn't, it doesn't work anymore. Yes. Alright. Uh, let's talk to them one more time to see if they have anything new to say. What do you now. want? Ah, oh, nothing, Mr. Potsdam. Nothing. Miss Potsdam? Hello, Steve. Have some pie? Yeah. You don't happen to have staff for spine lying around, do you? No, Steve. I'm so sorry. You just missed it. But oh, damn it. We just had her bones interred in the family vault in the cemetery. Oh, okay. Stop by there mm -hmm. if you want to pay your last respects. But you can't get inside. It's oh. sealed. Wax or anything else that you can unseal easily? 
get inside. Oh, if I'm gonna have to rely on Monaghan for this one, it's not gonna be good for me. I was wondering about the Potsdam family, um, like mausoleum, a few episodes ago. Why that was a thing? <laughs> Guess we now know. The marble doors have been sealed shut. Potsdam family crib. The leaning sycamore is dead rotten and stable for climbing a string. And this can we? Damn it! Oh man! Oh man! Okay. What's the play? The play is using all of our items again. Will that didn't okay. work? Okay. Find out which one well, is that, able well, that to didn't work. unseal the doors. Okay. That didn't work. And then we talk to Monahan. See which one is able to. Damn it! And did we use a shovel? Unseal the doors. Well, that didn't oh, work. Man. One of these. Oh, man. Well, that didn't work. That would only seal it up more. I don't think the dolly would. Damn it! Well, that didn't work. Do we do the same as we did every time we broke well, into something? Well, no, we don't work. tape it. Oh man. Well that well that didn't work. Lots of items we've used before, but Well that didn't work. We hadn't we haven't used the tampons yet. Okay. It'd be fucking funny if we can open the door with the tampons somehow. Okay. Okay, yeah. Uh it's medicine. Well that didn't work. And what about the rage ride autograph? Well that Damn didn't it. work. It's just there to fill up your inventory. Oh man. Well that didn't work. Meat? Well, that didn't work. And then the broom closet. Key. Damn it! How the actual fuck are you supposed to get in there? Is there like a pixel I need to find. Love the sky. Like genuinely. <laughs> and and the render <laughs> in this game. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna talk to Monahan. He must have a key, after all. Oh, he's not gonna give it to us. I didn't expect it there to be like one last um, obstacle. Hey, young man, we ripped. They are spouting gibberish, Stephanie. Fine. Yes, about Stephanie. Yes, about. Oh, okay. We're in a little bit of a pickle. I'd band. say it. A little bit of a right pickle. She wouldn't. She wouldn't be here, would she now? Same guy again. Well, that's a little bit problematic, to be honest. Oof. I have no clue left whatsoever, other than trying to talk to Miss Potsdam again. See if she has anything to say about it. Or the man at arms, but he just won't care. He's just gonna say, well, your problem. Did I fuck up button by not taking a corpse earlier? Nice of you to stop by. Nice. Shit. You think they gave him like the like false remains and kept a real corpse here somewhere? Is that what's happening? I should have checked everywhere though. So she must be in the crypt. How do I open the fucking crypt? Wasp lady? She must do something in this game. Maybe she knows about the fucking crypt. It's not often. Yeah. I wonder why. Maybe it's because you don't really. Crypt is being. Yeah, with why. A trivia. God fucking damn it. I don't want to fumble around blindly for another half an hour, please. I want to record now. Who else could know about the fucking crypt? I don't understand. But you do understand. I, you, 
How could I get into the fucking family crypt? Let's think about this logically. If I can't get in through the door, there must be another way in. The other way in most likely being in some sort of location. Just like how I dealt with the Tucker. Young man. Can we talk just about Stephanie? They are spouting gym. The crypt again won't do anything even in this location, right? Yes. I... Yeah, I know. You hate my fucking guts. I hate you too. Let's check it. Check out the. Oh, maybe maybe the grave. I can't. I can't interact with it at all. The only interactable thing on the screen. Crypt doors. Maybe I have to use items on the crypt themselves rather than the doors. Well, that didn't work. That's my new way to cope. I'm okay. Spend two and a half minutes of trying stuff out. Well, that didn't work. I feel as if I'm not stuck in this. Well, that didn't work. Will I leave out obvious stuff like the Range Rider autograph and the Get Out of Jail okay. free card? No, I won't. I'm desperate. Something needs to work. Oh, man. Maybe I can just break it down. As soon as well, I that use didn't work. Um, an actual weapon. Damn it. The axe. Well, that didn't work. Well, that Damn didn't it. work. Well, that Damn it. Damn it. Well, that well, that well, that try everything work. on the tree as well, just in case the tree is the trigger. Oh, the ladder. Okay. Dim light shines up through it. Glass skylight. Oh. Tape. <laughs> Tape it. Well, that didn't Damn work. Well, that oh, didn't do work. I just have to break it? Or... Oh, that was easy, I guess. Uh. Shit. Do I just need to spam it? How am I? I'm okay, I would say. That was my first com- Why was there a dog in here? First combat encounter. It scared me a little, to be honest. Um. No comment even by Steve. All right, the sarcophagus. A nauseous smell wafts from within it. Why is it unsealed? Oh lordy! A skull and spinal. Why is there no one else in this? Pick up the remains. And who is? Who is a tomb like that? Honestly, it's a little bit over the top, isn't it? I wanted to leave, thank you. Do I need to expect more combat encounters now? Like more dogs, maybe? Can I check on the remains? God. A little bit morbid. Alright, let's enter the lodge. I'd love this episode either something lodge related or combat related, I guess. What happens if you kill the man at arms? Ah, you have done well. Now, let the initiation commence. As your mystic arc, it is requested My what? and required that I turn over this sacred dagger to you to aid you in your quest. Is he about to shank me? That's not a dagger. What is this? Are you supposed to help me or get me killed? I'm starting you on the path of initiation to a very special, very exclusive brotherhood. No girls? I am merely the administrator of a test. Whether you view me as an enemy or a friend depends on how well you're prepared to pass. Which way is which? This thing. You haven't said what it is. It 
is a special weapon. Using it will be part of the initiation. Fine, I'll use it if I have to. To hell with the initiation. I just want to find out about seven. Okay, I use it. At this point, what's... Do you think Steve wouldn't comply? <laughs> dead or being held within the membership director on the second level keeps track of such things oh great then you are against me i am the sergeant at arms i am here to ensure that the protocols are observed deviation from a protocol shall result in punishment remember what I have told you. I don't know the protocols. Now, let the initiation begin. It's also a good title. Let the initiation begin. Um, I'm not sure. I'm just, like, also, he told you that it was a sacred dagger. I don't know why Steve is so hung up on that. Oh, Lord, is that Mr... No, it's a valet. It's not Mr. Swell. There's more than one midget in this town, apparently. Oh, they fully cleared my inventory. Including the weapons I had so far. What's the point of giving you five weapons if you're not even going to be able to use? Um... Ah. To the end. This bus... I can't say... Oh, I can't really save, right? So if, uh, at this point, I'm going to save a lot. Um... What are we going to call that one? Two midgets. It's the only thing I can think of right now. Sorry. Ah, oh, you're here. It is Miss Swell. Excellent. You'll find them through that door. Excuse me? Them? You are the exterminator, are you not? No. In that case, I'm afraid you'll have a hard time of it, sir. Recently, the lodge has become infested by pests. They need exterminating or... To be blunt, sir, they need killing and plenty. What's the quickest way to the second level? The second floor, sir. The entrance is hidden, but a little reflection should reveal the answer. To find the key to the second floor, reach deep within yourself. I wish you good luck, sir. Can you put a mirror? I hope you can stomach. What's ahead? Can I just outright kill him? Is there like no holds barred um, at this point? Can't move properly. Like I can only go left or right. Let's examine the bus. So, Mrs. Well is part of the lodge then. A new track starts playing. And it's interesting how, what he said. He was saying, like, dying holds an answer, but not for you. I wonder if there's, like, a bad end with story in this, then. This bust of Barbara Bush glares down at you in silent rebuke. This bust of George Washington. Benjamin Franklin. Thomas Jefferson. Beethoven. <laughs> that's, a, that's a weird, like... A weird lot of persons. A midget display light. <laughs> what? <laughs> Especially great for the midget. Can we just leave? We can't leave. Oh. Well. Um. Yeah, yeah. 
You know, I, I'm gonna reload because I kind of want to see if you can kill him. Uh, I didn't expect. I thought it was like a bad. I thought he was like stepping in fire or something. That's what it looked like. We talked to you a second time. Ah, uh, you're here. Excuse you. No. In the what kind of pest are we talking about? We're actually? not speaking of cockroaches. A bewildering variety of deadly beasts fly beyond, and just before the annual board meeting, dreadful. The blood rifle was it, right? Luck, Wasn't yet. I thought it was going to be an event of the game. Can't reach him because he's so small. But we can only attack like left or right of us. There's no other way to go. You, you have to go down here. You have to fall down. You also have to double click to even activate it, which is <laughs> fucking weird. Okay, let's skip that. Um, like abscesses. Abscess like openings pit the fleshy walls. The surface underfoot is oddly spongy and fluid oozes up around your shoes where you step. Exit here. Bluish veins, like, line the mucus slick walls. Can, we cut the, can, can I cut myself? No. He said you'll find the answer deep within you. Um, but... In, in something of a reflection or something. Oh my god, it's an anus. Step out of the way, Steve. The people want to see it. A bile covered lining envelops the room. Step into the anus. Oh, and it it's an actual sphincter. It opens and closes. We inside a body right now. Is this where we are we inside ourselves? Is this why you meant like we're gonna find the answer? Is this Steve? Pool of acid. A noxious pool of acid covered by a nutrient film. We can go right or left. Wait, it took away all of our healing items too. That's certainly not cool. Did it fuck up? Could I have taken my items with you somehow? A polyp grows stealthily. Tumorous growth erupting from its fleshy prison. Looks like a heart, to be honest. Human remains dissolved almost beyond recognition by acid. That a, that's a different sphincter, isn't it? A mushroom. A tumescent mushroom soaking in a puddle of bile. Let's enter this one. Oh lordy, there's an eye here. Oh, it hit me! Fucking bitch! And you thought the wall walls had ears? Can we attack the eyes? No. It's a big blue eye looking right at you. Can we attack that one? Step closer to it. Oh, we can. Upon leaving the strange rooms behind, you notice a burning feeling on your skin. You also notice a gooey film of slime covers your clothes. Acid? Cracked vase. A real plant. A sickly plant clinging to the life in a few fluorescent glow. A totemistic figurine, mysterious and impressive, clearly made in China. It says so on the bottom. Is this where we get our stuff back? A head box, empty but for the dead cockroach decaying in the corner. The doff wrapping, trappings of revelry, this toga whispers of good times past. The cloakroom attendant wants you not to touch anything. We can just kill him. This is a cloakroom, sir. By definition, not a fitting place to seek answers. However, it's plain that the acid oh, from your go. ordeal is eating away at your clothing and skin. I can clean your clothes for a minor consideration of five dollars. Or oh, death. Death. That's what's gonna do it. The clothes to Steve. Aim for the head. You acquire a shotgun. Whoa! 
I also acquire new clothes. Can I use them on Steve? No? I, I guess I don't want to fuck this up. I I have a limited amount of ammo. Those used to be blocked. Shit, did I fuck up my, my way of, like, cleaning my... I thought I was gonna just wear the toga. Why am I not undressing? Damn it. Well, that didn't work. It's eating away, away at my clothes and my health. The fire. Books. Over a dozen books on animal husbandry bound in leather and offered by various leading third reich scientists. The four eyes of this mutated cult blink, blink disinterestedly, glistening in the firelight. A good old radio. Candle is still warm. Half mutated horse pulling a cart filled with rhubarb. It is. Stockyard mutated cattle cube complacently for slaughter. Disturbing yes, to step over this rocky spine, a brand mark seared into the fur. I wonder if changing the music changed anything. A brass duck sticking over the edge of the shelf. If you paint from the asset, it's eating through your clothes. Oh shit. Fucking undress, Steve. What's the, what's the problem? Shit! I didn't expect a fight immediately. Corpse? They must have disagreed with something that ate them. It looks like the scene of the Last Supper, doesn't it? With something that ate them, not that they ate. The walls of this room contain scenes of horror and death. The mountains which bought your escape from harvest are visible for the big glass. I think to pick up though. We can go left or right. What? Ever oh since shit! The monsters invaded this level. The members have it's taken Pat. to dining with the Grand Kuba upstairs. Actually, I have to admit, my last few meals haven't been up to snuff. The problem is the freshness of the corpses, or lack thereof. See, the supply has dried up. The sergeant at arms always used to insist that bodies killed on the lodge be disposed of without trace. And so the members would bring me their business for preparation and dissemination. Um, you know, like, what's behind all this killing? Oh dear. You're not a member, are you? You're an initiate. Shit. Forgive me, I can't say another word about it. Can you tell me anything that might help me? Not really. You know what this means, right? Got me. Noticing the very sharp cleaver that the chef was trying to separate your head with, you pick it up and add it to your inventory. Oh my god, Steve is nearly dead though. Look at the fucking inventory icon. Um, a cut of meat that no ordinary butcher would have a name for. Pick it up. Uh, this is a torso, actually. The shattered mirror hints that someone didn't like what they saw. Filthy sink is littered with dead babe. Okay. A watched severed head never boils. If you paint from the acid. <gasps> Dead. What the fuck am I like on a timer? That's because I got hit. Back here now. Alright, we're gonna proceed to the left. Where? <laughs> Do I acquire the acid for falling down this thingy? Okay, I should fuck around then. Like, what? I don't know if it's like room by room or timer. Timer wise. Steve, please leave. If I click a thousand times, you're supposed, you're supposed to leave a thousand times. This time I'm gonna check out the left. Oh, you bitch, you're not gonna hit, hurt me this time. You are your friend. A shell. A shell lodged deep in the porous wall. Looks like a cocoon of some sort. Can we... Can't reach it. Can't attack it. Can we? Another sphincter. 
another room to check out, another one of these. This might it might actually be a circle and this is the other one we killed. That's not like this is gonna lead us to the other room. Yeah, with the eyeball. Looks like spam clicking is the way for the combat in this, which is very appreciated. Okay. Bam! And we leave. Um do we go through the middle door yet? We break the vase. We break the plant. Like there must be a reason for why there's like four three things on four tables. Gotta bug this guy. I need money if I want my clothes cleaned. Who has money in this? Well, I hope you're proud of yourself, killing my clientele. Ever since the monsters invaded this level. The members have taken to dining. I didn't the kill them. Okay, but now we know what. Okay, this time we're gonna ask him about Stephanie. I know that's like hindsight is twenty twenty, but still. Do you know about a girl named Stephanie? He's gonna say the same thing. Sorry, you need to okay. talk to the membership director up on too. Can you tell me anything that might help me? Not really. Can we take the meat? Oh, well, that didn't work. A sink. It's clean and sparkling. We clean our clothes in the sink then. Bottle of filter. Filled with a vicious red liquid, which is cleaning out anything as wholesome as ketchup. We're gonna save because the time was, I think, we're pretty good here. I'm gonna call it. Um, also, I'm gonna have to end the episode soonish. Today's gonna be a longer one, I think. We did a lot. Sandwich, ham, and cheese on rye. I can only hope. Oh, is that a healing item? Yes. Freezer, whose gruesome contents are mercifully locked away from view. Okay, we can pick up this as well. Chunks of meat. Can I use them to like... Well, ever It's exactly the same thing again. Um, oh. so, which means we're gonna fucking kill him. <coughs> Shit, he got us. Alright. Nothing else with the corpse. Freshly removed hand still twitches reflexively, grasping for salvation. Nothing else in this room, though. Like, what's the point of this? The cleaver? Tables and chairs. All the furniture in this bar seems to be as badly taken care of as the bar itself. Bar stocked with only domestic beer. Play a piano with the inscription Chicago on it. Yeah, I know, the pain. A mirror. It, it ref reflects a dark image of myself. We need to break through the mirror. Step closer. Steve. Fuck, it said something about, like, look into yourself. A fountain. The once beautiful fountain needs a garden that the weeds have taken over. Oh shit, there's a plant here that we're gonna have to attack, I guess. Well, it was an instant death and I accidentally skipped the video to it. <laughs> so we're gonna try this again. Um, we're gonna leave the butcher alive this time. We're gonna try to pick up everything that is here to pick up though. It looks like I'm gonna have to find out the proper and best course of action for all of this. Like There must be specific, specific things I have to do and other things I don't have to do. Nothing that I need to pick up here. Do I need a shotgun for this? The plant immediately noticed when it got close. <laughs> okay, how do I how do I deal with the plant? Do I need a shotgun for this? The only ranged weapon I can think of, really. Oh, it's a fireplace. Don't change the music. I think 
maybe something changed with changing the music. Maybe the plant is gone or something because it doesn't like rock music. It only likes classical music. Can we like cut anything? What about the chairs or something on the table? He knows. And what about the toga? Ah, oh, great. I tried touching it one too many times. All right, we're gonna die one more time, then I'm gonna just have to end the episode. It is getting a little bit too long. Oh, we forgot picking up the shit. I mean, this is Damn as ridiculous it. as it is. It is like very much adventure gamey since it's a lot of trial and error. Even if I have to go through a game over screen every time I do it. This is a cloakroom, sir. By definition, not Clear a fitting clothes. place. This is a cloak. I think killing him is the way to go. No, 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 don't leave. We're gonna... We're gonna kill him and try the shotgun on the plant. He dies very easily as well. If he can clean our clothes, why can't we do it? What about the toga? Okay, maybe we can use the toga. Oh, maybe we can wrap... The, the toga well, in the body or something. Okay. Or the body in a toga. Well, that didn't work. Well, that didn't oh, work. Man, well, man, that didn't man. work. And, like, distract the plan. That was my plan. Another thing I could try is burning the toga? In a fire? Or the body parts? Oh, man. Well, that didn't Damn work. It. Okay. Okay. Finish the music. There could be another way to... Get through this. Uh, we're gonna see... Oh, no. The dog is already dead. I wonder if you can just skip enemies, you know? There's a hole over there. Okay, we're gonna arm the shotgun. Two shells. Okay, we're gonna have to reload this because we just fucked around with our two shells that we had. Oh, man. Well, that didn't work. Oh, man. Well, that didn't oh, work. Man. What? Seriously? Maybe it wants this chunk of me? Damn it, damn it, damn it. Damn it. Oh, oh, that didn't work. Damn it. 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 Damn